So Ryan, we talked about culture, importance of culture. We talked about importance of culture at or fit depending on the company's strategy. So from the employ from the job seekers perspective, uh, do you see how they can identify their values? Is there any assessment in your thing or they should ask their friends, what do you think about me when I'm not in the room? So what are your thoughts, how people can identify their values? Yeah, that's a really great question. Yeah, There's certainly um, mm. exercises that I work with my clients uh, in a coaching setting one-on-one -on -one, where they're able to discover their values through a set of questions. Many times that would be, mm. that would include some visualization yes. uh, that I would take clients through. Uh, some of those things would be if uh, you were to talk about or describe a, a situation where you felt that you were powerless, where you felt mm. that that you um, that you weren't able to fully be yourself, and and the frustration of that. Describe that experience for me, right? Because it's it's in the moments where we're not able to fully express ourselves and to be ourselves, or we, we feel powerless that we're able to identify what is the value that's not being honored in this moment, right? Yeah. So it's not always values aren't only uh, able to be discovered through uh, good times. And, and certainly that is a way to do it as well. So uh, I have a client, for instance, as we were going through some other experiences where you were to describe uh, a moment of bliss, a moment mm -hmm. where describe it for me, who was standing around you, right? What was mm -hmm. that experience like? What did you feel? What did it feel like in your body? Why was that so important to you? And then we write down those words and we start to see things come out of that. And we discovered in one of the sessions with a client that one of their values is shared experiences. Mm -hmm. Well, you can discover that in a really good moment, but also describing a bad moment where maybe you wanted to share an experience with family members and that was taken from you. Mm. And so, and so by that feeling of something being taken from you, you can also feel what your value is, even through the difficult times of life. You know, I think that's why it's important to really be in touch with yourself yes. and know yourself really well so that you're able to identify what are the things that matter to me and our priorities during the best times of life that, that I feel very connected with the people around me and I'm excited about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. What yes. is it about though? What is it about it that it, that's exciting? Well, that could be one of your values. Do you see that come up in other areas of your life? Also, yeah. we know that character is forged in the fire, right? It's yeah. you're formed in those moments where you look back over your life. And I know I can as well. Mm. The times that define me the most, weren't always the moments of bliss. <laughs> yes. They were the moments mm -hmm. that of the greatest heartache, of the mm -hmm. most pain, of the hurt. Why Why did that hurt so bad? Yeah. I bet you, if you dig hard enough, you can find your value in there. And I think when people start discovering their values, it's really important to start with a pencil mm -hmm. <laughs> and not think, okay, I need to, now that I heard Ryan, Ryan and Mahara speak, it's now I know what my value is. I'm going to go get it <laughs> tattooed on my arm tonight. No, wait, write it with a pencil and, and take time with it. Let, yeah. let that, let those values, as you start to discover it, just even through the two questions that I asked, I, and I'm getting very practical here. Yeah. You can do this on your own and yeah. you write those, those ideas down and you look for patterns what comes up in you when you're uh, disgusted with uh, something at work, when you're disgusted with how someone treats someone else? Why does that matter to you? So when you get on a soapbox, what's that, what is that soapbox about, right? Mm -hmm. Where people just mm -hmm. can't shut you up no matter what. I want to know that because if I know that, there's something in there that keeps your mouth going, yeah. right? That's a value. That's something that if, if, and, and that's what I think is really, uh, really beautiful because most people, let's be honest, when we say, what are your values? They go to, well, you know, my faith, my family, my friends, my, yeah. you know, and there's all kinds of other Fs, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, but, but, you know, and I used to say family as well, but, but if we dig a little deeper to that, what is it about family? Well, when I'm around them, I feel peace. Why do you feel peace around uh, your family? Well, because I feel like I belong there. Oh, 
belonging. Yeah. You value belonging. Yeah. Okay. I tell my clients and the students I am uh, helping that when you identify your values, you can mention them on LinkedIn. It can be in your about section. It can be in your banner. So whenever a recruiter is checking, they will see that, oh, these are the values of this person and there's an alignment between our company and this person. But do you think that there should be 100% value alignment when a job seeker is applying for a job or it all depends? You know, I don't think um, I don't think you should take a job if you look at the values um, for two reasons. Mm -hmm. If if you read the values and no one's living them, because then then there's um, there's an issue there. That doesn't mean that that you're going to find a perfect workplace. Mm -hmm. But but if if there's just complete distrust throughout the organization and trust is one of their values, that to me is a red flag. Mm. If, if I have values around, say, well, one of my values is wild curiosity. It's one yeah. of my values, right? So, so when I think about that, well, I don't necessarily, I'm not going to find another company that maybe says wild curiosity, but I do know that if I take a job that they're, one of their values is innovation mm -hmm. or creative ideas. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm looking for more of that alignment. And the more I find that alignment, the happier I'm going to be. Yeah. Also, one thing that I do want to say is as uh, an additional thought, just because something's not written down on a wall for mm -hmm. the value or on a website doesn't mean it's not the company's value. So yeah. the, the companies generally don't rethink about their values or relook at them very often. Yeah. And if you're anything like me, your values evolve over time. So my sure, values yeah. today are different than they were five years ago, three yes. years ago. I'm a different person. The pandemic made Same some thing. of my values different, Same right? Thing. Well, if a company has not gone through any values, looked at their values since the pandemic, there, there may be a good chance that you need to discover more than just reading it yeah. on, on uh, Glassdoor, right? Yeah. Um, like it's really important to, to be able to uh, take a pulse of the culture, uh, spend some time looking at it as you would anything else, right? A lot of times we take jobs because we just need a job as fast as we can, but yeah. we would never do that if we were renting a house, yeah. Um, right? Because we're spending eight hours a day in that house. Well, guess where else we're spending eight hours a day in the workplace? Perfect. So yeah. you might want to take a tour. Yeah. Talk to some employees, right? Listen, yeah. listen, pay attention. You know, what are people saying about, uh, and we understand Glassdoor is there for everybody to complain. And, you know, mm -hmm. you're not going to get perfect scores there yeah. unless the company's paying lots of money, but it is important. It's an important, another tool mm. of many things, uh, not isolated, but another tool to be able to discover more. I would just say for job seekers, um, you know, to really be clear about what you want and uh, to do your homework. Yeah, those are great tips. Thank you, Ryan. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of value alignment, identifying values, leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Ryan.